At Bill Evans Lake, fishing for catfish was fair when using worms. Fishing for bluegill was good when using worms. At Bonito Lake, fishing for trout was fair when using panther martin spinners. At Brantley Lake, fishing for bass was fair when using whopper plopper lures. At Elephant Butte Lake, fishing for bass was good when using crankbaits, drop shot rigs, and red and white bomber lures. Fishing for white bass was good when using red and white booyah prank poppers and chartreuse Model A bomber crankbaits. Fishing for walleye was good when using wally diver lures, chartreuse grubs, and silver spinners. Fishing for striped bass was fair when using white slab spoons and silver castmaster lures. Fishing for crappie was very good when using live minnows near the dam site marina. Fishing for catfish was good when using live minnows and shrimp. At Grindstone Lake, fishing for trout was good when using worms. At Oasis Park Lake, fishing for bass was fair to good when using Texas rigged robo worms. The Pecos River below Sumner, fishing for catfish was good when using chicken breast and cut bait. At Perch Lake, fishing for catfish was good when using hot dogs. Fishing for bass was fair when using hot dogs as well. At Santa Rosa Lake, fishing for walleye was fair when using green wally diver lures. Baton Lake, Carrizozo Recreation Lake, Chaparral Park Lake, Lake Van, and the Roswell Kids Pond are just some of the New Mexico waters stocked with channel cats this week. Rainbow trout were also stocked in water such as the Eagle Rock Lake, the Red River, and the San Juan River, among others. And our catch of the week is, drumroll please, Kinley Cordova and Abigail Fernandez, both age five and both of Cuesta, caught their first trout at Eagle Rock Lake. That's it for this week. I'll be back next week with another fishing and stocking report update. For Crazy Radio, I'm Sarah Morrow.